Hello again guys, it's Carly from The Poetry of Nice and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is a channel all about reselling online for profit. So I sell on Poshmark, eBay and Etsy and on this channel I like to share with you haul videos like this one where I show you the things that I pick up to resell. I like to share with you thrift with me so that you can come along with me as I'm hunting for these treasures at yard sales or rummage sales or thrift stores. And I like to share with you sales videos so you can see how much those items actually sell for and what kind of profit I make as well as some tips and tricks thrown in there as well. Real quick, if you are looking to connect with and get to know people in the reselling community, then I would definitely urge you to check out my new Facebook group, Thrift Nice. The link is down below in the description. And it's basically a place where you can come as a reseller or a thrifter, whether you're a beginner or a pro and you want to ask questions or you just want to kind of share the highs and lows and um, where we will all kind of like uh, help one another, support one another and just generally have a really nice space to get to know one another. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you check that out down below. So this particular haul is part two of a massive rummage sale haul. If you missed part one, I will link it right here in case you want to go back and check that out first. Um, and I'll also link sort of the next minute or two up here and down below in the description, the rummage sale with me or thrift with me that went along with this where you can see me in real time actually find all of these items that I am showing you here today. So I'm just going to dive in and show you the rest of them basically. Uh, we have a Talbot's piece, um, older tag, but I picked it up based on the style size medium I really liked it's a black cardigan but it's like all like crochet knit um, and you can kind of see better there and I thought it was kind of cool like it's just like a little sort of fall or winter piece so again all the clothes were a dollar so I picked up some things that I wouldn't if they were like four or five dollars of course but for a buck there's a lot of things here that I'm going to make a really nice profit on so next LL Bean women's extra large 80% lamb's wool uh, cable knit sweater so again kind of a basic or whatever just this uh, nice sort of, sort of solid green color i would prefer it if it was like a nordic fair isle type print of course but with a great fabric content like 80 percent lamb's wool definitely going to grab it for a buck all right this was one of my favorite pieces that i found here i just love to rescue these kinds of pieces um so it is a vintage hawaiian dress here is the tag there we go. Um, it is says basically Hawaiian, made in Hawaii, size large. It's got a sort of paper tag there that kind of lets me know that it's a little bit older. It's an off-the-shoulder style dress, and it has this beautiful print of like the Hawaiian Islands, like a map, with a really cute ruffle detail at the bottom, kind of like a, I would say almost like a midi length, like between the knee and the ankle. Unfortunately, there are some li uh, light marks present on it with it being white, but for a dollar, I really wanted to grab this and if I could lift those marks and give it like a new lease on life and then that will be listed probably for around like 40 to 50 dollars. Right, this was hiding in here wasn't expecting it this little rural Tennessee uh, churchyard sale what can I say uh, just an anthropology um, top it is a size small oh it's a Kemi and Kin if you can see it there we go so I actually haven't found this particular brand before and um, it's a new one to me anthropology wise I found a lot of anthropology but not that particular one and this one is really cute it is a mustard yellow waffle knit very boxy kind of cropped um, not really a sweater but just like a top or whatever very very slouchy very, very casual kind of want to keep it not gonna lie <laughs> probably gonna list it because I need the money more than I need another top in my life. But uh, yeah, I really like that piece. I thought it was really nice and perfect for the upcoming season. All right, Eloquy. Again, I think this is a plus size brand. I found some pants in the last uh, haul that I showed you, size 20, but I like the style of this. So it's a blue and white, almost like a polka dot, but not almost like a Swiss, I don't know dotty it's a dotty print um, and it's a really nice cut with kind of this draped neckline here as well um, so I really like the fact it was plus size I really like that it was on trend definitely easy decision to pick it up all right these are cool so first of all I found let me try and figure it out <laughs> bear with me uh, I found this first of all which was the suspender belt um, in this beautiful like peachy pink um, here is the vintage tag in case you are wondering I don't know anything about the brand I haven't done any research yet but I picked up the suspender belt and I thought I'll just throw that in because you know vintage suspender belt whatever and then I found the like little lingerie bodice that goes with it unfortunately one of the straps are missing but fortunately they are removable so I can just take 
take this away and discard it and just sell it as a strapless bodice piece so that goes with it same brand same size and then I found the little bralette that goes with it as well which is this really sweet little like crossover satin vintage bralette absolutely adorable fortunately I didn't find like the little panties or whatever that would go with it um but that's fine many people might not even want that so um those three pieces I will lock together as a vintage lingerie set and sell them like that this I think is a stitch fix brand is what I figured out bricks and ivy um I have to do more research but size extra large and again really really pretty style kind of like a pencil skirt knee length with this cool scalloped edge and lace sort of crochet overlay really very cute um oh i picked these up just due to the size so they're j crew but they're a size 14 and they're just a navy blue like kind of cropped pant basically very very bread and butter but size 14 j crew tends to do pretty well for me i grabbed this <laughs> don't know why why not is the question really so graphic t-shirt obviously a little bit older I'm going to go ahead and say probably 90s um Bill Clinton for president Al Gore for vice president the time has come um yeah just a little graphic t-shirt so I've got no idea what that will fetch but I'll do my research before I list it just in case it happens to be worth something and hey it's an election year so maybe that'll go in its favor who knows um all right Carhartt size large just a men's graphic t-shirt got a little emblem on the pocket on the front and then the big logo on the back another Lands End piece size 18 very very cute sort of cream and mustard yellow polka dot uh, pop over blouse kind of semi sheer super cute a pair of vintage shorts um they've got the stretchy waist they are definitely definitely high rise um what i will likely do when i take my photos is i will style them a little bit by rolling the legs up like this so then you'll have like the elastic waist but then you'll have this like nicer fit there on the leg and you can kind of see just from looking at it that this looks a lot more flattering and like up-to-date than this does so that is how i will work those for the photographs all right another vintage sweatshirt size extra large just like another embroidered one this one says bermuda blues with little sailboats on it just a little crew neck sweatshirt this piece i don't know why i grabbed it i just can't let up on this brand easel this really doesn't sell very well so don't go out looking for it it's a teal blue but i picked it up really because of the size it is so oversized and boxy it's got this kind of shark bite ruffle handkerchief hem and then it's the most dolman sleeve i think i've ever seen in my life so i grabbed it based on that and the fact i could use words like sort of lag and look and boho in it um i don't know if it's gonna do well though all right this i think was a pretty good buy um so it's tommy bahama it is a like carry all or like a weekender bag but i think it's new because the strap here still has like all the paper and stuff on it so i don't think it's ever been used just from looking at it which you know that's pretty good um i don't know what they're going for nowadays but that was a dollar as well all right weekends by chico size zero so smaller size you can go on chico's website and look at their um size chart they have vanity sizes so zero equates to maybe like a small perhaps um, but anyway you can go on the website and check for when you're listing so that you can list it correctly just a little blue and striped lightweight knit sweater all right this is a local piece but again it was vintage made in the usa um <sighs> I don't know I thought it was cool graphic it's Maryville which is here you know in Tennessee uh, all stars national league just like an old baseball uh t-shirt basically got a number on the back and then it's got a, a little league baseball um patch on the arm but it's like an adult size I liked it I like that kind of quirky graphic vintage t-shirt and I think someone else will too so I decided to grab it all right Talbot size 3x which would have been awesome if I didn't overlook the fact that it was missing a button and the buttons are like kind of specific and um, I already checked down here and unfortunately it does not have another button that I can kind of put there so I guess I'll just disclose it luckily it's the top one so if people want to wear it you know a little bit lower or whatever it's fine but I liked I liked the print to it as well it was kind of like a teal teal blue like a honeycomb print so I'll probably still list it and just disclose. All right, we have Lularo extra large. Not something I go out my way for, but it's just like, I guess it's one of, I guess it's a dress, high-low. 
it seems like it could be a dress maybe it's a tunic top I have no idea at this point but just a solid cream color and the solids can still do okay occasionally uh Lilla P I think this might be anthropology um I found I've sold this before like a just a plain dress I think their pieces are quite plain and um, plain brown dress and it sold quickly for 18 so I might be able to get sort of 15 or so for this like a sort of chartreuse green yellow and it has a little tie detail at the bottom there this piece would have been good if I hadn't overlooked something so it's Columbia and it's the PFG so performance fishing gear um, which is usually fantastic like the vented button-down shirts they do really well except it's blooming monogrammed on the back isn't it so <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll just disclose it and see if anyone still wants it. Um, yeah, I, I didn't notice that. I would never honestly have thought to look. Uh, so there's a lesson learned. I need to flip things around a bit more. All right, let's look at a few shoes right quick. So these were an interesting find. I couldn't figure out what they were because it's all worn off inside. Uh, there was a tag that I had overlooked just hanging here. Um, but I managed to find out just like by powers of deduction from googling or whatever that they are the clark's wallabies um they're just a type of shoe i guess that clark's made a while ago they all look like this they come in various colors they're kind of like squishy on the heel oh, on the sole i'm sorry and then all of this is suede leather and um, they look super discolored but i don't know they might be but honestly they're just like really really distressed like a worn in suede and i'm totally okay with the fact that they are worn in um some of them were selling for like 70 dollars. like i don't know if these are like a clark's hidden gem or something but the comps were really really good when i was looking them up so again for a dollar i decided to try those out another pair of men's shoes just cole Hahn. um pair of like leather loafers brown leather loafers again holiday season coming and all that kind of stuff people like their dress shoes all right last pair of shoes i should have had another pair of shoes i found a pair of vionics my first ever pair of vionic ankle boots and i couldn't find the second one like i never found that sucker anywhere uh so yeah that was a shame <laughs> I'm not bitter or anything. Um, okay, Timberland. These are flaking a little bit inside, which is a shame, but at least it's inside and not outside. Um, there we go. I'll show them to you. Timberland. And they're just like a leather shoe i don't know how else to describe it really and then this is like a velcro sort of piece that goes through the buckle here that has spell out on it they kind of remind me of what i would usually find as like harley davidson um type shoes or boots or whatever but yeah a little pair of black leather shoes they got a little bit of scuffing but i'll use some doc martin's wonder balsam and that will uh judge them right up if you're wondering what that is it's linked down below in my like amazon list just in case you want to take a peek and see what i'm talking about i swear by it it's amazing for leather goods all right and taylor again it is factory but that's totally fine size extra large which is why i grabbed it just a very pretty sort of watercolor ish striped tank top i have no idea if this is real but i grabbed it just in case long chomp I don't know where to even find out if this is real. It's basically like a little, um, I guess like a toiletries bag, like a, a men's toiletries bag. Yeah, there's nothing on the inside. Oh wait, there's one little tag. It's all worn off though. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm, I'm not sure, but if nothing else, I get to learn a little bit about it, like authenticating it, so that's good. Oh, this is for me, I think. <laughs> just a pineapple i don't know really i don't know if i even have a place for it it's super super heavy it's brass it has like a place you could hang it um it could sit somewhere couldn't it like i could justify that i don't know um if not it'll probably go on poshmark home goods and i'm sure somebody else will like a pineapple as well oh i have another piece of clothing hiding in here what are you hmm oh i think this was yes lula row size 2x so there's a good size just a solid navy kind of like textured knit uh just a stretchy skirt really i have to find out the actual name by googling it all right these some of these things are for me uh there's this disney's world on ice um i know you're probably thinking why but beside me right here there is a giant uh bookcase basically that's covered in vintage disney honor or like collectibles from the parks and things like that my husband and i that's just what we love to collect and display so i'm thinking that this may earn a place just for a little while i love minnie with her pearls and stuff like this is super 90s i think it's really cool all made in the usa and stuff i think i might put this this up there for a little while just to kind of like give it give it a little bit of pride of place and then if i want to move it along afterwards i can and then these are also potentially for me or potentially to sell it really depends if i have a use for them or not Ooh, where's my other one 
So they're just little glass mugs, but like little vintage Disney ones. So there's Mickey on one side and Minnie Mouse on the other. Um, I'm thinking wine, but that could just be me. Uh, we don't really have traditional wine glasses in my house. We drink out of Disney mugs. I don't I don't know but I feel like they could work for that if not I will lot them up and just sell them as they are uh, again Poshmark Home, eBay, Etsy all that good stuff but I thought they were cute next I have a set of three and I picked them up because they were just so pretty and delicate uh, they're like little teacups but I just loved the way that these flowers are painted and I believe they're all hand painted on um, and on the bottom they are marked and they're made in France I think but I'm gonna have to look up like the actual brand or whatever but like I said there's a set of three of those that are lot together and sell. Uh, last like hard good that I picked up was this and it was purely so it's, it says Festival Korea on the bottom um, and I picked it up purely because I absolutely loved it I really loved it it's all wildflowers I just thought it was so pretty. I love that it had kind of like the stonewell look and I just, I have a thing for wildflowers so I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Kind of want to keep it. Don't think I have any kind of need for it or use for it really so I may just sell it but really, really cute. All right, I have two bags and then I'm done. So I found this just kind of like sitting on the floor. Um, it's just a little like brown, sort of bronzy brown crossbody and it is fossil. And then what I didn't realize inside, it's brand new. It still has the little fossil, like you bought me card. And then tucked into like the back of the zipper part, it still has like the little uh, inspected by whatever little card in there as well. So I definitely, looking at it and looking at those elements, I'm definitely confident that this thing has never been used by anybody. So what a bargain for a dollar. Um, and then my last item is this. Desigual, desigual. Uh, it's just really cool. Like a lot of sort of crossbody, whatever. And these these are doing pretty well. I love this brand to sell. I think it's so fun. Um, it's got like the little plate on the back there as well. So definitely a cool, fun find. Again, completely random in rural East Tennessee. Um, I did actually pass on a bag there. And if you go back and look at the thrift with me, you'll see I put up a comp uh, when I was looking at it in sort of the real time in the video. Um, I went back in my editing and put up a comp and said like, I should have grabbed this because um, I overlooked this bag basically. When I Googled the brand, I was like, oh no, it sells for like $35. Uh, so if you're interested, I can't remember what it's called unfortunately, but you know, again, that's kind of the beauty of these thrift with me is that I can go back in afterwards and I can sort of put some information in there where I can learn from it and hopefully you guys can learn a little bit. So when I find it again out there in the wild, this time I'll know to grab it. All right, you guys, that is everything in this haul. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like thrifty content, please do think about hitting subscribe and hitting the bell so you can see when my next videos go up and come back and hang out some more. All right, you guys, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.